And now to the UK, where the Deputy Speaker of the House of Lords has resigned over the publication of a video allegedly showing him using cocaine with prostitutes. Baron John Sewell's decision to resign came after the British Daily The Sun published pictures of him snorting cocaine. Lord Speaker Baroness D'Souza has called Sewell's behavior shocking and unacceptable. She added that the House of Lords will continue to uphold standards in public life and will not tolerate departure from these standards. Sewell's case has been referred to Scotland Yard for urgent investigation. Crossing over to London, joined by political analyst Mr. Christopher Walker. Thanks so much for being with us, uh, Mr. Walker. Well, is this shocking? Uh, according to uh, the Lord Speaker Baroness, she's saying that uh, what has been exposed is shocking. Do you think it really is shocking when we look at what has been taking place in general, whether we're talking about the parliament or with uh, political figures in general um, in the UK? Uh, how shocking is it? Well, I think it's, a, as you say, it's part of a, a string of equally shocking uh, scandals, some of which are alleged that in the same building that this take place near to Parliament, uh, young boys were abused by MPs and other senior politicians. What makes it perhaps doubly shocking today is that those are allegations. Here you have absolute proof with the picture of the naked peer on the front page of Britain's uh, biggest selling Sunday newspaper uh, sniffing cocaine and uh, quoted with the most uh, outrageous quotes and if you can believe it his actual job in the House of Lords is to be in charge of the good standards of his fellow parliamentarians. So he is supposed to encourage what, I, uh, what I'm understanding from what you're saying, obviously positive ethics. What does that say in general? More and more we have seen politicians there actually being exposed, whether it is uh, uh, financial scandal or sexual scandal. Um, it seems to be more and more prevalent. Is it more and more prevalent or just that it's being exposed? And what does that say overall for the political system if those who are in power uh, actually are, are deemed not to be very moral in general? Yes, it, it is very serious. Uh, we had the huge expenses scandal when uh, so many uh, members of parliament were fiddling their expenses, buying outrageous property with taxpayers' money, forging uh, documents and such like. Uh, there's always been a history of sex scandals amongst the aristocracy in uh, Britain but uh, this comes at a time when really the reputation of uh, politicians is just about at an all-time low uh, even lower I may say than journalists and there is a, a feeling that uh, people will be discouraged from entering uh, Parliament because people think so badly of those that are in there, often thinking they're crooks or sexual perverts. All right. Well, thanks so much for being with us out of London. Mr. Christopher Walker, political analyst.